Hey everybody, in these next series of videos I'm going to talk about taking the derivatives of trig functions, E functions, and natural log functions. And before we get started with these videos, I want you to take a look at this table that I have written for you on the left hand side of the screen. And on the left hand side of the table I have functions and on the right hand side of the table I have the derivative of those functions. So it's important to have these memorized before you get started with trig function examples, uh, E examples, or natural log examples. So let's just dig right into our first example. Uh, here we have the function f of x is equal to the sine of 2x cubed minus 5. And notice from our table, if we have an original function of sine, uh, the derivative of the sine is going to be the cosine. So correspondingly, uh, since we have a sine in our function, we have the sine of 2x cubed minus 5, um, our derivative is going to be the cosine of 2x cubed minus 5. And the only difference, the one last step that we have to do before we finish this derivative, is we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses. Effectively, we have to do the chain rule. We have to multiply by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses. So we have a 2x cubed minus 5 inside the parentheses. What we want to do is we want to multiply by the derivative of 2x cubed minus 5, uh, which is just 6x squared. And I always like to write my constants and my x's before the trig function. So I'm just going to rewrite the derivative with the 6x squared in the front multiplied by the cosine of 2x cubed minus 5. Now we have completely taken the derivative of this trig function. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.